Hi, PerspectiveWeather.com meteorologist Paul Dorian here on Monday, December 14th, a stormy week in the Mid-Atlantic region, Northeast U.S. Two storms to deal with over the next few days. Today's storm is already bringing some significant rainfall to much of the Mid-Atlantic region. That rain will change to snow in some of the northern and western suburbs of the big cities, especially across Philadelphia and New York City, probably changing over to snow in the Philly suburbs by the late morning, midday hours. It's by early afternoon in New York City, there certainly can be a couple of inches of accumulations in the suburbs of Philadelphia and New York City during the afternoon hours before the snow winds down at the end of the day. In the D.C. area, primarily a rain event, some of it, again, <coughs> excuse me, heavy at times, is an outside chance that the far northern western suburbs end with a little bit of snow later on in the day. And then, of course, the midweek storm is still on track. It's a major storm system coming. Significant snowfall for much of the mid-Atlantic region. And there can be certainly some sleet and freezing rain involved in some of the areas. And we'll focus in on both of these storms over the next several minutes. Let's start off with the teleconnection indices we've been talking about for really a couple of weeks now with respect specifically to the Arctic Oscillation and North Atlantic Oscillation. These two signals have uh, given us a heads up that this uh, very well could be a stormy week, a stormy time period with some cold air around in the central and eastern U.S. And indeed, the Arctic Oscillation remains at negative levels <coughs> uh, along with its closely related cousin, the North Atlantic Oscillation. And when these two teleconnection indices remain in negative territory for an extended period of time this time of the year. That usually is correlated with high latitude blocking, within, which in turn sends some cold air down into the central and eastern U.S. and often is associated with east coast storminess, which of course we have not only today, but a more impactful storm coming at midweek. Here is the latest with respect to the Arctic Oscillation uh, uh, forecast in red here, again, staying in negative territory right here over the next couple of weeks. This horizontal line here represents the neutral area. Black represents observed up to the uh, current time here. And again, in negative territory, staying in negative territory over the next couple of weeks. And here's the North Atlantic Oscillation forecast for the next couple of weeks. Slightly negative, but stays pretty much in negative territory for the next couple of weeks, again, slightly negative right now, and the combination of the AO and NAO kind of lead to high latitude blocking pattern, and we'll, we'll show that in a moment here on the upper level charts here, uh, playing a key role to the potential significant snow event coming at the uh, midpoint of this week. Well, let's take a look at the current surface map and talk about this first storm that's hitting us today with plenty of rainfall. We talked last week about the a strong likelihood that it would push farther to the north uh, compared to the uh, midweek and late week computer forecast models that kind of had it suppressed south of the Mason-Dixon line. It is indeed sending some heavy rainfall this morning through at the D.C., Philadelphia metro regions, and as colder air filters in, it will change to snow in the Philly suburbs, in the New York City suburbs, and there can be a couple inches of accumulation uh, later in the day. We had a very mild day on Sunday in the Mid-Atlantic region. Many areas uh, reached the 60s, a very unusually mild day for the middle part of December, but a cold frontal system came through in an uneventful fashion. You wouldn't even know the front came through. It was relatively dry. Temperatures did not plunge behind it, but it did set off a chain of events that will lead to a substantial snow event on Wednesday, a major winter storm coming, and again, even some snowfall later today from this initial storm system. That front is now lying off the eastern seaboard, and here's a low-pressure area heading to the north and east, and it will move in a kind of a similar fashion to the midweek storm, uh, uh, reaching maybe the Delmarva Peninsula and then cutting to the east out into the western part of the Atlantic Ocean. But a key player right here, notice this secondary cold frontal system, and that will come through over the next 24 hours or so, and this is a key player. We have strong high pressure right now over the south-central part of Canada. That 
expands eastward, builds eastward into the southeastern Canada over the next 48 hours. It will be a key player for the major winter storm coming to the Mid-Atlantic region on Wednesday and Wednesday night into the day on Thursday. This will be the anchor, the cold air source that will provide some uh, very cold air for this time of the year uh, down across the eastern part of the Appalachians into the big cities and again setting the stage for a major winter storm at midweek. The air mass right now is marginal. That's why we're seeing rain this morning. But again, cold air is already starting to filter in as this high pressure system builds into the southeastern part of Canada. Again, I expect a change over to snow in the suburbs of Philly and New York City, midday, early afternoon hours, maybe even in the far northern western suburbs of D.C. before this precipitation with this initial storm system winds down later in the afternoon. Well, let's take a look at the radar from uh, WSIs and telecast.com. Lots of blue showing up here. Upstate Pennsylvania, even some heavier snow band right here in the darker blue. Heavy rain from D.C. into the southeastern part of Pennsylvania. But colder air will filter in as that high-pressure system starts to expand eastward into the southeastern part of Canada. Expect a changeover to snow in and around Philly and New York City later in the day, maybe the far northern western suburbs of D.C. Temperatures have already peaked, uh, generally in the lower 40s in the D.C., Philadelphia, New York City corridor. They will tend to slowly fall over the next several hours. Lots of cold air throughout the western two-thirds of the nation. Well, let's start off by walking through the 500 millibar height anomalies as forecast by last night's 6C. GFS model run, and again, the uh, teleconnection indices, especially the AO and NAO, uh, were signaling to us that there would be a, a very uh, important pattern change with high latitude blocking, what we call a 50-50 upper level low, and that's situated over uh, 50 degrees west longitude, 50 degrees north latitude, and that uh, kind of helps us with respect to a an anchored high pressure system at the surface across southeastern Canada, setting the stage for a winter storm in the, the mid Atlantic region. Let's now walk through from this morning, Monday morning, over the next 48 hours or so. And we'll see here how uh, we end up with this ridge by tomorrow that's following today's event. And look at this by the uh, Tuesday night time frame and then going into the morning hours on Wednesday. Here is our upper air pattern. We have uh, several things to point out here. First of all, all this orange up here across the North Pole and uh, Greenland, that represents high latitude blocking. So this is kind of a high latitude blocking uh, scenario right here. This is really associated with that negative AO over Greenland is the negative NAO again leading to this kind of a high latitude blocking and why this is important it leads to cold air outbreaks that uh, move from the high latitudes down into the middle latitudes in this case into the uh, US especially the central and eastern US this is what we call an, a 50-50 low right here the upper part of the atmosphere what this does is it locks in a surface high pressure zone system right in this region right here across southeastern Canada really gets anchored in there because of this upper level low that is out ahead of it and here is our cold air source this again is the Wednesday morning forecast map at the surface we have cold high pressure that just sends cold air down along the eastern side of the Appalachian setting the stage for a major winter storm even into the big cities along the I-95 corridor region. We're looking at a foot uh, plus possibility in Philadelphia and New York City. District of Columbia is a, a, a more difficult forecast right now. I'm leaning towards maybe like a three to six inch snowfall where there will be uh, some mixing of sleet and freezing rain in the district itself and the immediate suburbs, but don't have to go far at all to the north and west of the district to get into the 12, uh, the uh, 6 to 12 inch rain, maybe even a little higher than that, farther out to the far northern and western suburbs. Of, a real sharp gradient expected in the snowfall totals in, the, in and around D.C., but again, a foot or more on the table for Philly, 
New York City. This is kind of a classic setup here for a snowstorm in at least parts of the Mid-Atlantic region, northeast U.S. Here's our wave of low pressure right in here. That sets off the development of a major storm right along the eastern seaboard. So you have a real good setup here in the upper part of the atmosphere. Not totally perfect. Could be a little bit better maybe across the, uh, the Pacific coast area. But even here, we're starting to see a better ridge popping up along the west coast, which we didn't see in the forecast models last week. We're seeing that now. Oftentimes you have this trough in the east and a ridge along the west coast. And again, all in all, this is not a bad pattern or almost a classic setup for a snowstorm in the Mid-Atlantic region, uh, even though we're only into the middle part of December. You get high, high latitude blocking and that cold air uh, anchored by high pressure over southeastern Canada, you're setting the stage for a significant snow event, and in this case coming at midweek. Well, let's now walk through the surface forecast maps from the operational run of the GFS. And again, there's still a couple days to go before the midweek event, so certainly stay tuned to prospectiveweather.com. There can be some uh, last-minute uh, last minute changes and uh, some tweaks to the accumulation estimates that we have on our website right now. Uh, starting off with rain this morning in D.C. and in Philadelphia. And in fact, some of this is falling heavily at times. Notice some blue by uh, the early afternoon. Again, I expect the rain to change over to snow from northwest to southeast uh, in the Philadelphia suburbs and the New York City suburbs by the midday or early afternoon hours. And there certainly can be some accumulations, especially in grassy surfaces this afternoon in those areas. Maybe even some a period of time where the snow is coming down pretty hard. Now keep in mind the roads should be rather warm after that 60 plus degree day we had on uh, uh, Sunday, just yesterday, but watch out for potential slippery spots later on in the afternoon. In D.C., most of the event will be in the form of rain. Maybe the far northern western suburbs, the rain can end as a brief period of snow well to the north and west of the district. This storm pulls away in the overnight hours, and now here we are by Tuesday morning. And let me just emphasize again, here is a critical player right here, this strong Canadian high pressure system building into the southeastern part of Canada. This is the Tuesday morning forecast map, sending cold, cold air to the east side of the Appalachians uh, tomorrow, tomorrow night. Very cold for this time of the year. Again, a key player. And again, remember, we have this upper level low sitting off to the north and east. That will tend to slow the movement keep it in place during much of the time for this midweek winter storm in the Mid-Atlantic region. A crucial player and again well correlated with a negative AO, a negative NAO, a high latitude blocking pattern. Let's now move forward in time here and by tomorrow night anchored and even strengthening. It was a 1031 millibar low here tomorrow morning by tomorrow night 1034. So a building high, a key player sending cold air down. Here we go, the, the beginnings of our midweek storm system here in the Mid-Atlantic region. By Wednesday morning, we have kind of a kinkiness happening here in the isobar pattern, these black lines here, and that is what we call a damming situation, uh, Appalachian damming, where you have an isobar pattern like this. What that is kind of indicating is you have this very strong high pressure system to the north. Look at this now up to 1038 millibars, a beautiful setup if you're a snow lover in the Mid-Atlantic region, sending some cold air down east of the Appalachians and that kind of in turn leads to uh, this kind of a pattern in the uh, pressure field, a kinkiness in the Appalachians. So this is a key player here, early Wednesday morning forecast map and then the snow breaks out in D.C. area, maybe mid to late morning now. It's tending to slow down a little bit here. And then in the afternoon um, hours, early to mid-afternoon maybe in Philadelphia, metro region, maybe late afternoon in New York City. And low pressure scoots off the Carolina coastline. And some of this snow will be heavy at times by late in the day across much of the mid-Atlantic region. Now, there is certainly a good chance of a mixture of 
uh, sleet, freezing rain, maybe even plain rain in and around the District of Columbia, maybe even up to Philadelphia and New York City, there will be a brief period of time with a mixture. That, of course, uh, uh, makes it much more difficult to pinpoint the snowfall accumulation. The longer the period with mixed precipitation, of course, it cuts down on the total snowfall estimates. But this storm system at the surface will maybe push northward into the southern part of the Delmarva Peninsula, and then we'll kind of flip to the east. That's a crucial factor here, and uh, I think very likely it goes up maybe to the southern part of the Delmarva Peninsula, moving northward for a few hours, but then jumps to the east. That pulls in colder air again. D.C., for example, very well could start off with accumulating snow, then it changes over later Wednesday to sleet, freezing rain, maybe even some plain rain mixed in, by that I mean above freezing, a little bit above freezing, then it could change back to all snow as this storm system pulls away into the western Atlantic in the overnight hours on uh, Wednesday night going into Thursday. Primarily snow in the Philadelphia and New York City metro areas from this midweek storm, although there certainly can be a period with sleet and freezing rain mixing in at times, a foot or more on the table in the Philly and New York City metro region um, uh, during this storm. D.C., I'm thinking may, uh, right now maybe 3 to 6 inches in and around the district, 6 to 12 inches not far at all away to the north and west, and 12 plus inches you go well to the north and west of the district. Certainly like I-81 corridor in northern Virginia gets pounded here. Uh, all the way to northern Maryland gets pounded with snowfall, south central Pennsylvania, east central Pennsylvania, southeastern Pennsylvania, all the way to northern uh, New Jersey, New York City metro region, a major snow event here. And now by Thursday morning, that storm again pushes northward to the Delmarva Peninsula, then kind of uh, jogs to the east, allowing cold air to return from the north and west in those areas that mix with or change to uh, freezing rain, rain uh, in and around the I-95 Carter region likely changed back to snow. Now, let me point out here, places like southern New Jersey, especially coastal southern New Jersey, the southern half, the Delmarva Peninsula, southeastern Virginia, primarily a rain event here. You still have relatively warm sea surface temperatures in the western Atlantic, and that will uh, kind of prevent some of that cold air from making it all the way down into places like Cape May, southern part of the Delmarva Peninsula, Richmond south and east of there, primarily a rain event in midweek, but a major a winter storm uh, uh, north of there in the D.C., Philadelphia, New York City corridor, a foot or more on the table in Philly and New York City metro regions, and just to the north and west of the district, uh, a foot or more is on the table as well. And in the district itself may be limited by that mixture uh, uh, for a while, maybe three to six inches. That's a, a tough forecast. Any kind of a shift to the uh, uh, northwest and the southeast uh, could change things significantly, significantly for the district. So stay tuned over the next couple of days. Once this system uh, pulls on out here, uh, midday Thursday, still will be enough instability to cause some snow showers, even showing up on the GFS all the way down to D.C. There can be some afternoon sh snow showers on Thursday. Winds will still be quite brisk. And let me point out, with respect to the winds, they will get very strong uh, during the this midweek storm system, Wednesday afternoon, especially Wednesday night into Thursday morning. 30, 40, even 50 mile per hour wind gusts, especially down at the coastal region. And that certainly can do two things. It can contribute to blowing and drifting of snow in those areas where the snow piles up. And it can also add to the chance for some power outages when uh, you combine heavy snowfall in areas and, and also freezing rain and ice in some other areas with 30, 40, 50 mile per hour wind gusts that increases the chance for some power outages during the, this event. After uh, everything settles down here Friday and Saturday, a very cold pattern for this time of the year going right into the upcoming weekend. So a stormy next few days, storm number one today, some heavy rainfall which will change to snow north of the Mason-Dixon line in the suburbs of Philly and New York City even producing a couple of inches by later on in the day. And then the 
The big event coming on Wednesday, probably starting time sometime maybe mid to late morning in D.C., early afternoon Philly, late afternoon New York City, significant snowfall for much of the Mid-Atlantic region, northeast U.S. By the way, very well could end up producing some significant, significant snow during the midweek storm up to Boston, let's say, but north of there, little impact if, if uh, any uh, in Vermont, New Hampshire, and Maine from this particular storm. At least that's the way it looks now. So certainly stay tuned to PerspectiveWeather.com over the next couple of days as we close in on this major storm coming at midweek. That's it for now for PerspectiveWeather.com. I'm meteorologist Paul Dorian.